Hi guys, in this example we have a couple of functions and we're asked to determine whether or not they are odd or even functions. Now what is they why is that important? Well, because by knowing if it's odd or even it kind of tells us and gives us clues into how it's going to look up on the number plane when we draw it. So let's have a look at the first one. We got function x equals x squared. The question is, is it odd? Is it even? Well, here's the criteria. When we put in a negative x into the function, and it turns out to be the same as the function x as it originally was, then it's even. If we put a negative x in the function and it comes out as negative function, then it's going to be odd. So what does that mean? Well, if it's going to be even, it's going to have a look of symmetry about the axis. It's going to be reflected in the y-axis. If it's going to be odd, it's going to have symmetry about the point called the origin. So that's between two quadrants. So let's have a look how this works. The first one here is function x equals x squared. Let's see if it's odd or even using algebra. So let's do this. Let's uh, uh, find out. So let's put in the function negative x, and that's going to equal, when we put negative x in there, simply negative x all squared. Now, what is that going to turn into? Well, it's going to turn into x squared because a negative times a negative is a positive. So we end up with x squared. So that means that function negative x is equal to function x as it originally was. And that means that it's an even function. Again, what's the criteria of an even function? It means that it's going to have symmetry about the y-axis, meaning it's going to be reflected about that axis. So let's have a look at how we're going to draw function x equals x squared. Many of you can kind of see that looks kind of like a parabola, but it's going to look like this. So here's half of it, like that. Okay, now if that's going to be reflected about the y-axis, it's going to finish off and look like this because it's even. And there we have it. So this is over here, our function x equals x squared. Let's go to the next one, next function, which is function x equals x cubed. Odd or even? Let's find out. Let's put in the negative x in there and find out. So we'll go function negative x is equal negative x all cubed to the power of 3. Therefore, negative times a negative times a negative is going to turn out to be negative again, isn't it? So it's negative x cubed. So therefore, is equal to negative function x, isn't it? So it looks like it's going to be the bottom one, which means it's a odd function. What the, what's the criteria for an odd function? It means it's going to have point symmetry about the origin right over there. So if we were to draw half of it, it would look something like this. There we have it like that. So if we were to rotate this around this way, it would look something like this. 180 degrees, it would finish up and look like that. That's roughly right. So that's kind of like the look of a cubic. So complete it all together, it would look something like this. And that's our function. As a cubic. Vivid Maths, you control the lesson. Put your maths to the test and practice with the world's first fully interactive video solutions. Just press play and start learning your way.